Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest, Project 1999. I am on Chords, and we are in Felwith at Yalarn in the Cleric Guild. This is for the Warden symbol of Tunar, the third part of the symbol uh, for the Cleric Tunar um, necklace. Now, we're not going for the necklace, but if you wanted to help someone with this quest... All you have to do is complete the parts that we're about to complete and uh, turn your part in first. They turn in their second necklace and they will receive the third. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is say, I am ready to become a Warden of Tunor and you will receive a stone, uh, black stone candlestick. From here, we're going to go over to Unrest where we want to kill a Werebat and get a thick caustic fluid, which I was able to get pretty easily. Uh, all these parts, except for one, are going to be no drop, uh, but that doesn't matter because you are the one who's going to have to do the combine at the end, uh, but we'll get there when we get there. From here, you want to go over to Lava Storm uh, or Soul Aim, and you want to find a goblin that drops a pouch of red dust. This can be off of the cinder goblins inside of Soul A, or there are several uh, goblins outside of Soul A in Lava Storm that will give you the item that you need. From here, you want to go ahead and head over to Split Paw, where uh, any of the mobs have a chance to drop the white hill boar. If you wanted to, you could probably go over to the centaur camp and buy one. It is not, um, it, it, it is tradable. So, uh, you may be able to find some there and they drop off of the knolls inside and outside of split ball. So the quest that we're doing now that we're pretty far into it, uh, is for the powder of unanimation. It is a two-charge item that uh, casts a level 60 cleric necro spell called Banishment of Shadows, which is an instant um, kill to a undead mob that is level 51 and below. I haven't done very much research on the spell itself, other than the fact that the original spell requires a star ruby to cast it. So I don't know if this item is going to require it or not, but it may be something that is help, helpful for people whenever they're trying to clear mobs around a named, or they get in a scrape where they need to get a mob dead uh, ASAP. But once you have the white hellebore, you're going to head over to Uriadin. And I wanted to start at the beginning here, so that I could show you exactly how to get to the parts that you, you need to go to. So whenever you come up here and uh, come around this corner, you're going to be in the courtyard where the library is. On the right hand side, there is going to be a building that is for the Prexus clerics and paladins. And if you keep going around the building on the right hand side, there's going to be a small little ramp that takes you over to where the uh, tower is, is what they call it. It's where all of the casters guilds are. And right next to it, just to make sure you're in the right place, is the Quilius um, building for the Quilius clerics and paladins. Not that you can't do the quest for each one of them. Once you are inside of the temple, you go upstairs. Um, there are two ways leading downstairs and then one that leads upstairs. And I believe we're going into the Enchanter's Guild, uh, the yellow one. I think it is the Tower of Craft People, I believe. And um, you are going to try to find the um, High Elf in there and her name is Trelawney. You're going to need to hand in the um, um, <laughs> the candlestick and she will give you a um, magical suspension fluid. Once you receive that 
you're going to go back out into the courtyard area near where the library was, and you need to find a brewing barrel. Now, for this part, you require no brewing skill. It will work no matter what. It is not failable, so don't worry about any of that. And what you're going to do is you're going to combine all four pieces. The thick caustic fluid, the red, uh, the pouch of red dust, the white hellbore, and the uh, magical suspension fluid to create a divin... <laughs> okay, let me make sure I say this correctly. A divinatory concoction. <laughs> it's like a divination spell... But it's like, it's not exactly a divination spell, it's divinatory, you know? <laughs> I guess that's what they're going for there. Um, this building that I came into on the wiki said that there was a brewing barrel here, but there definitely was not. I did find out later after I got done recording here that there are two brewing barrels inside of the next building that we're actually going to go to. There's one that's downstairs... And there's one um, right in to, uh, this room that we're about to go into. So once you're there, you're going to combine all of the pieces, like I said before. And you are going to head back in to Trelawney. And she is going to give you the powder of unanimation. So I decided I was going to go ahead and do a test, waste one of the charges, and that is what you are going to see next. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to test this thing out. Uh, because it is something that you can do over and over again, I wanted to see what kind of uh, damage it did. Most of these mobs should be... Um, should be below level 51 and I also have a starfire on me so if the starfire is used we know that it does take the reagent if it doesn't then we know it doesn't take the reagent uh, this is a bad spot to do this um, but it was like the only place that I could find that I could mm, okay good well this is gonna work because this is really all uh, all that I have at the moment. I'm going to let him hit me. And then I'm going to mess him. Okay. And then if we go down to wherever I put this thing. It's right here. We take this out. And we put this in its place. It should be an 8 second cast. So I'm going to wait for it to pulse again. And then we're going to right click it. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. Two things. It's not only an insta kill. But it completely wipes away the ability to loot the mob. So. That could be good and it could be bad. So if it's a situation where you have two or three undead on you and you need to be able to take out the named, you want to maybe get rid of the others and have a chance of losing whatever loot they have. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because this is a spell. This banish of uh, Banishment of Shadows is a level 60 cleric and necromancer spell. Do you guys think it is worth doing? Is it beneficial to you? Also, let's go through my bags real quick. And it did, unless you see it, uh, it did use a star ruby. So it is also using the reagent. So, <laughs> I could see that that would not be something worth doing. So, let me know what you guys think. I thought I would show you this quest just because of the fact that it is an insta-kill for any mob below a certain level. But, uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Yeah.